So today I wanted to talk about pedestrian safety at night or just any safety in terms of commuting at night. And I'm not just talking about headlight glare, that's a different topic in itself, but I'm more targeting towards just pedestrian awareness and safety. The thing about nighttime is that headlights produce a lot of glare at night and when people walk out in dark clothes at night, there are a lot of times when pedestrians naturally have to cross the road and because of all the headlight glare and I'm talking about glare one your car is going to produce light in front of you but two there's also going to be a lot of secondary light coming to your face from cars and bikes that are coming towards you on the opposite side of the road and as a result of this you really can't see pedestrians at all like they just don't appear until suddenly you see like a sliver of reflection from their clothing, from their buttons, from their zippers, and then suddenly you're like, oh, a pedestrian is, clo- is crossing the road. This has happened to me so many times where, especially like in dimly lit areas, like where there aren't any good street lamps, pedestrians will cross the road and I'm not blaming them. and. I'm completely blinded by like incoming glare and like other sort of reflections and I just don't see the pedestrian until like I'm very close to it and I can actually tell there's a person in front of me and I'm talking about very close as in like 5 to 10 meters close instead of like 15 to 20 meters that is needed for like proper braking and things. So some just safety tips in terms of like pedestrians while crossing the road or while walking on the side of roads that see that don't have any railings like this right here this um single bar stretch here does have railings so at least motor vehicles can't get on pavements here but where there aren't any pavements where there aren't any railings that separate between the road and the footpath where people walk some sort of reflective surface some sort of brighter colors and i'm talking about colors like neon like a bright shade of red pink not dark colors like black gray or dark blue this will very much increase the chances of you being spotted by a motorist and that's i think at essence what you really want to be doing you want to be spotted by the motorist and you don't want to have to do anything too much to get a motorist's attention. Something else is just having like reflective surfaces design clothes or like patches when you walk around at night. You know, those like shiny surfaces I suppose. Oh, another thing that pedestrians can also try to do is specifically when they are crossing the road or like when they're in su- such areas that don't have any distinguishment between where people walk and where most cars run is also turn on their um, torch lights on their phone. Anything to like give people on the road some sort of hint, hey, I'm like walking here. Because you really want motorists to see you. Like you don't want to suddenly motorists to blind you. And yes, the responsibility The onus lies on the motorists as well. I'm not saying motorists to just forget about pedestrians at night and just drive like the whole road, the whole space belongs to the vehicle. Motorists do have to keep an eye out for moving objects in the dark to avoid accidents. But there are things that can help both sides. Like, yes, a motorist being careful, cautious less distracted on the road is going to be beneficial but a pedestrian can also do some things to help the motorists out and in return also help themselves out like if I go out and I have to walk at night I just make sure to have some sort of brighter gloss or like reflective surface on me or just leave my torchlight on at night honestly and that in a sense will alert people motorists around me that I'm there but In return, it'll also ensure that I am safe. Like, I don't have to worry too much about suddenly being hit. You know what I mean? 
So yeah, this is a quick vlog on like some nighttime safety I've noticed because I've noticed so many times we still don't have proper street lamps everywhere and I'm just blinded by the glare and I don't see people crossing the street and as long as I'm going slow like under 30 kph I have enough time to break but every time I think oh shit I didn't see that person I'm imagining if I was over 50 then what would have happened in that scenario anyway if you liked what I mentioned feel free to give me a subscribe or drop a comment down below and I'll see you on the next vlog